Hello, and welcome to Central Europe Online. I'm Deirdre Brennan, and here are some of the stories we're following for Wednesday, February 18th. The Czech President tells the Deputy Prime Minister to put off his resignation. The Hungarian Parliament votes to support possible U.S.-led military strikes against Iraq. And the Czechs upset the Americans with a 4-1 win in Olympic hockey. Czech President Václav Havel urged Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Skalitsky to postpone his planned resignation from the cabinet until he has answered questions about controversial party donations. Havel said on Tuesday that only after Skalitsky's party, the ODA, explained its sponsorship cover-up could he determine whether Skalitsky's remaining in the government would hurt the cabinet's credibility. Skalitsky, who is also the Minister of Environment, offered to resign from his posts on Monday after it was revealed Friday the ODA had accepted secret donations from foreign companies. Striking nurses and other healthcare professionals in Romania say they are willing to make concessions over their demands for higher wages. The workers said Tuesday that they were giving up their initial demand for a 100% pay rise and would settle for a 75% increase. But the government says it is only able to afford a 50% increase. Around 150,000 healthcare workers began striking last Thursday. On average, they earn $60 per month, which is one-third less than the national average. The Hungarian parliament voted on Tuesday to back possible U.S.-led military strikes against Iraq. A government proposal to permit foreign aircraft to use its airspace and some airfields passed 297 to 5. A second proposal to send a medical team to the Gulf region was also passed. Hungarian Foreign Minister Laszlo Kovács told Parliament that the decision was made in the interests of international peace and security. The body of a 26-year-old Czech Romani woman who was drowned by skinheads was found on Tuesday in the Labe River in eastern Bohemia. The unidentified woman was forced into the icy waters by a group of skinheads Sunday night. A 48-year-old woman who heard her screams jumped into the water and tried to rescue her. The two were swept under a dam and firemen were only able to save the older woman. Three skinheads have been arrested and charged with grievous bodily harm. The Czech Republic put on a good showing Monday to beat the United States 4-1 in Olympic hockey. The Czechs now advance to the semifinals where they are expected to meet the Canadians. Out of the remaining six teams in the tournament, the Czechs have the fewest NHL players. And now for a look at Thursday's weather. Bratislava, Bucharest, Ljubljana and Prague will all be partly cloudy with highs in the 50s and overnight lows in the 40s. Budapest will see a mixture of sun and clouds with highs in the 50s and lows in the 40s. And Warsaw will experience rain with highs in the 50s and lows also in the 40s. And that's Central Europe Online. For the European Internet Network, I'm Deirdre Brennan.